beauties and welcome back to i am beautiful hustle tv today we are back with a new video and today's hair is provided by nadula hair now here was all the goodies they sent me in a package and they sent me this beautiful glueless closure pre-cut highlight wig y'all in a body wave pattern and the inch is 24 inches this wig is so gorgeous and it can be used as a glueless wig so i will show you guys how this wig looks glueless and um you know put it onto my client but then i'm gonna go in and secure the wig down because you know glueless installs is not for everybody and you know that's just how that goes but however this wig is absolutely gorgeous it's a five by five highlighted pre-cut glueless wig and it is a 24 inch body wave as i mentioned and before i show you guys how this wig glueless i'm just going to take some ruby kisses foundation and apply it on the inside of that lace closure and then i'm going to place the wig onto her head give it a nice little hot comb at the top and then show you guys her shaking it on her head without any adhesive Now there is many ways you can wear a glueless install. You can just put this wig on and go or you can add a little glueless gel or a little glueless uh, holding spray is up to you. So this wig can definitely be worn glueless. It is actually a glueless wig in fact, but we're gonna secure it down because um, every client that I have does not want glueless, especially if they don't really know how to take care of their hair or how the whole process works so we decided to after showing you guys it could be worn glueless just um you know add a little glue to secure it down and of course you know we are using our lace made adhesive um and i did about three layers uh, to secure the wig down so after i spread each layer i am going to go ahead and begin to tack the wig down and as you can see from the beginning of this video the style that i chose to do was just a nice little bust down the middle with some crimps it's been a long time since i did some crimps on my channel and i couldn't find my crimp for a long time y'all but i ended up finding it so y'all know we got to bring in the cute summer looks so once i finish applying the glue i will go ahead and take it down and get into the styling
So this install today was a little faster because the wig was already pre-cut. So that was one advantage of having a pre-cut wig. Like you don't have to go in and do that whole step of, you know, cutting the extra lace off because it's already done. So now that I have it glued down, what I'm going to do is just take a little heat protectant and just hot comb out the parting area, making it, uh, you know, making sure the wig is nice and flat and the part is straight. Then I will proceed to pull out my baby hair section, spray the hairline and tie it down. And with the closure install, you want to make sure you part some hair off in the back to just cover up those tracks, making sure it is nice and neat. And I'm using my glam wax stick to make sure I secure all those flyaways and get a nice, soft, and sleek look. And now I'm taking my um, even spray in the black can and just spraying that hairline down and I'm going to tie it down with that melt belt. And also off camera, what I did was go ahead and um, sew down the back of the wig and I also crimped the back of the wig and I will finish up the crimping process in the front area on this wig so you guys can see how I do my crimps, especially when it comes to laying the crimps down in the front. You have to lay them down and place them in a nice little order so everything can just flow and just blend together nicely. Here is the back view of the cramp. So pretty, like I mentioned you guys, this wig is a 24 inch. So it's giving everything it's supposed to give and more. So now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just comb those baby hairs out. Give it a quick little swoop, very simple, very easy, nothing too crazy. But before I go ahead and get into those baby hairs, the two simple baby hairs that I did, I'm just gonna go ahead and crimp up this entire area that I have left here on the side. And all I did was add a little bit of heat protectant on the whole head um, for each crimping section. But what I did for the very top layer is where I added the holding spray to give it a nice put together. And you know, um, secure hold for the top layer but usually i like to keep my crimps you know very soft pretty and flowy i don't really like the hard spritz crimps simply because you know when it starts to drop it could drop nice and soft and you don't have to worry about washing your wig you know washing your wig um because of all of the hard products that's in it that can make it flaky so for the most part i keep my crimps pretty soft and then just add a little holding spray on the top layer which i barely even do that but i did it for this install today and i'm using my four in one level crimper and i purchased this crimper from amazon and it's by the brand bedhead so you go ahead and head over to amazon and get you one of these but i am looking to get a new crimper so if you do have a favorite crimper y'all drop it down below in the comments because I do want to, um, you know, like a new crimper to give new crimples, okay? So, uh, nevertheless, I'm just going to go ahead and crimp this side up and then get into the baby hairs.
and the baby heads will be very cute and simple just a quick little cut bump and swoop using some holding spray and that'll be it and the other side i would do off camera so that's why i showed you guys this side here in detail but um stay tuned for the finishing look And both sides of the crimps are completed. This wig is giving everything it needs and more. And now we're gonna just go ahead and clean up the parting area. So I'm taking that foundation and placing it in the inside of her part. And guys, when I do this next step, be very careful. Um, if you could find you a brown holding spray, you was brown, but I didn't have any brown. So I had to improvise with my black hair spray, but I sprayed it barely, barely sprayed it. I just wanted to make the part look more cleaner and stand out more. So I took a very, very risky, you know, idea. So as I going to say here, do not recommend to try this. Um, if you do not have a brown holding spray, just go get brown. But I took a very big risk and took the black holding spray and just sprayed it extremely, extremely lightly. So it still looks like a, you know, like brown. Um, but it just made the parting area look cleaner. So that's why I did it. So it doesn't look bad at all. And I actually love the final look of it all. And I'm just going to add a little washing to the top. Just to give it a nice little shine. But here is the finishing look. Of course, I'm going to give you guys a 360. I absolutely love this glueless wig from Nadula Hair. So make sure you guys check out the description down below on where to purchase this wig. And like I mentioned, you could wear this glueless as I showed you in the beginning. Or you can glue it down. Either way it goes, you will have beautiful results. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.